Here we are in Mr. Arthur Calavitrino's residence to service his bed. I'm James, our colleague here, directly from London, Jonathan. So tell us about your home, Arthur. It seems like an amazing place. All right, it was, um, it was built in 1890. The, uh, the area of Lynn that we're in was the shoe capital of, of, of the world. This house was built by a, a, a president of a shoe company in 1890, and he had it for entertaining. Let me show you the front room. This is the formal living room right here. There's a lot of influence here from Fornacetti. Fornacetti was an Italian artist. Adam and Eve, which was done for the King of Hungary. Are these limited production? No, that's the original for the King. Really? Like I said, I was in London, a dealership called uh, Sinai and Sons, um, right next to Purdy, the gunsmith. I've heard you're, you're an aficionado of uh, uh, collectors, uh, James Bond posts. Yeah, I started collecting James Bond uh, like in the mid 90s when I started collecting the, uh, nice. you know, when I got the bed. Yeah, no, this is a history on, on the movie posters too. So I collect old books. I mean, that's the Savoy cocktail book to make a proper cocktail. Oh, look at that. Nice. And these are shipping lists. They have like ladles of shipping. I think this is the article I think I copied. I think, you know. This is back before internet. Can Savoy cut cost and be at the Savoy is the question. Exactly, yeah. And it says lady slippers. Check yeah, it out. Yeah, back in the day. Right now it's just slippers, but back in the day, yeah, yeah. These are my notes. This is about 95. When I started going to London as an adult, it was in the early 90s, it was really before the internet. And I read about the Savoy Hotel and how grand it was, and the quality of the mattresses, the coffee, different things guests would get. And I said, this is cool, I gotta check it out. So I went there, I read about the beds, and I slept on it, it was just beautiful. It was a bliss. And I said, I'm gonna buy it. The quality, the natural materials, the craftsmen. I remember reading about these craftsmen sitting there and with these long needles making this. And I said, you know what? I want that. And, and the sleep was amazing. And I said, I want to take this back. I want to take part of this away with me. And that's what I did. I took it. And I'm glad I did. I'm very glad I did. When I go to London and I stay at, at the, one of the Savoy brand hotels, there used to be four. And they, I, I always like, I like to look at the mattress. I always flip up the sheets and look at the mattress. Like, oh, yeah. And absolutely. Which mattress did you buy? The Savoy mattress? <clears throat> Back then, it was only one choice. Okay, that's yeah, it. Then you have the yeah. Savoy. Yeah, it, it, it the was original. So this is your bag. Yeah, the one we we're about to serve. Yeah, I can't get you. We got, we got all Great. the pillows and stuff, and I can show you like the rips, which you have the pictures, because okay. you know, again, if you get a bed, you know, you got to do the box spring. Right? For sure. Oh yeah. So what, what we're doing is, that I'm sure you know, is we're going to recover this bed. We're using an analyzing here to see if maybe mm -hmm. we we, uh, we touch it up before we actually put the cover. In. Yeah, it's the slats of it, man. Yeah. So these are the tufts we're removing. Gonna flip it? Yeah, I just need to drop it down. Did you wanna flip it over? No, I can take as long as I can get at the bottom of these. So yeah, just take it. That's good. What does that say? It's got a serial number for real? It's his uh it's his signature, I think. Right, let's get this case on. Okay, so I'm gonna put it out first. Drop them in place there. Put it back in. Turn up this. Just make sure it's sensitive. How many should I prepare? One, two, three, four, five, six. Did you guys change a little bit how you made them? Like, you know, before it'd be the crowd, it would be like, you know, it'd be your serial number here. It's you still got that. You got that. Yeah. It still goes on it, yeah. Yeah. But Very then, cool. I don't yeah. think there's a label on the back there. If it yeah, were to, I, can, I can sign that if you want yeah. to. Yeah. So uh, currently we are we are retufting the mattress and we remove the the old tufts, the original tufts from this bed, and now we are replace the slip cover or the cover of, of new cover, new trellis cover for the mattress that was pre-cut to size, and now we are retufting the mattress so the materials don't shift. 
So it seems like your mattress has, has, has literally made you happier over the course of, of, of use. Would you not say? I am glad I have that mattress. It makes me, it puts a smile on my face. Good. It puts a smile on my face because it's a piece of heritage that, I, that I've got. You know, it's so, and, and, and with, the, with the craftsmen that do it, the natural materials, the sleep that you have on it, the ability, as we're doing talking today, to have somebody, you know, come in to repair it, you know, for, for, you know from the UK. I think when you combine all that, that whole experience, a, a, a life cycle of that mattress, it's just, it's, it's great. Wow. I mean, this is beautiful. If you like the idea of making the bed more sumptuous, you may consider a topper. A topper is Which you, yeah. a horsehair topper. And it's going to add a little height to the bed, but yeah. not much. Guys, this is a great yeah. service. Yeah, I, I, I love this. Cool. Good. This is, you know, you got the white glove there. Uh, you, know, <laughs> you know, Michael Jackson, but this is like, uh, <laughs> this is white glove service. Very good. You guys, I mean, you guys are paid.